going to do a little video walk around of the 41 Cadillac convertible. Now, don't uh, give me a bad time about how it looks because this is how it looks just coming out of long-term storage. It hasn't been cleaned up, inspected, detailed, nothing. It's just been started up, rolled out, put on the car trailer, and here you see it. So, um, actually it's here so we can look at it and say, this is what you need to do to your car. And uh, then uh, go from there. So, again, I do inspections, pre-purchase uh, appraisals, and um, condition reports for these cars. And this one is here for just that. So after I make the long list and figure it out, it's up to the owner to decide who's going to do what, when, where, or not. So here we go with um, the 41. An older restoration that has been sitting long enough that it needs a lot of attention and detail before you really want to go anywhere with it. Um, these cars originally had porcelain exhaust manifolds and you see some of the porcelain is still intact. There's some um, things that uh, I'm seeing right here that need to be given some attention. Um, yes, this originally uh, was wrapped with an asbestos uh, material covering to keep the heat away from the water pump, which is right there. Uh, I can see that uh, the routing of these cables is not original. The battery is uh, an Optima down there and somebody has stuffed a bunch of rags alongside it to keep it from rattling around. And then we have heater hoses that are wound around all over the place that look pretty uh, ugly the way things are going there. And just uh, cosmetic stuff, things that can be cleaned up and things that should have been done right the first time. A lot of little cleanup that needs to be done under here. It's missing the um, fresh air tube connection that should be on that uh, firewall vent there. And there's a piece that would have bolted alongside here and hose in between it. And then the hose running up underneath the um, core support. So just uh, uh, some things that uh, aren't quite correct and looks like somebody left a cap to a spray can of something. Uh, looks like apparently they at one time it must have had some uh, fog lights of some kind added onto the front end. Cadillac had an optional set of fog lights that would have been in there in 1941. A little bit of seepage around the shutter door thermostat and I wouldn't doubt that uh, oh well the shutters are closed right now and the engine's cold so they probably did that so that um, yeah it probably I'm, I'm looking at it this is a Silphon uh, thermostat sender in there and it's basically that's what it is the thermostat that opens and closes these shutters down in there, and that's how they controlled engine temperature back in the day. Let's see what else we got here. Just some hoses and wires and things that are not quite the way they should be. Um, I tell everybody, always, always replace the fuel lines, the hoses with uh, um, modern gas hose that's all fuel safe. Basically, if it's labeled fuel injection hose, it's much better than the old gas hose that you get all over the place. Yeah, the uh, rubber up there on the uh, cowl um, is loose. Uh, hardware just needs a lot of general cleanup here under the hood. So let's carefully close the hood. And I'll latch it down and we'll move along. 
The 41 grills are die cast pieces. If uh, you're looking at a 41, make sure that uh, it's not broken or cracked or full of um, pitting. This one is, looks very nice. They're very expensive to have re-chromed. Okay, so we're gonna go around the car a little bit, look at it. I think that the car might be sitting just a little bit lower than it should for um, originality. I've found that there's some loose things underneath the uh, car as well, just needed to be uh, tightened up, inspected, make sure it's gonna live long. Um, the top is older, so it's starting to shrink up just a little bit, so it pulls up in the corners there at the bottom, but at least it does have the correct metal pieces, the band here and the band up here. That's the way they're supposed to be, not a piece of the Hydem cloth stuff. Okay, inside the car looks pretty nice. Um, the dash is obviously redone and someone has resprayed the steering column with a metallic or metal, uh, yeah, metallic type of uh, paint. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, visors are all here. Looks like we need to adjust the visor clamps a little bit. And uh, convertible top um, frame and hardware all very nice, replated. Looks great. I haven't checked uh, um, radio or anything like that yet, so I don't know what to tell you about that. But the uh, gauge faces are all very nice. See where the original registration card was put down there. That was a factory uh, piece that was sewn into the kick panels down there. Pedal pads are okay. Decent steering wheel must have been redone. And what else can I tell you? If we look underneath the car, um, I don't think the video is going to work by looking underneath there, but you'll see that it was probably pressure just uh, all painted at once. So it's a kind of a cosmetic restoration. The floors all look really good in the car. But it's not a uh, nut and bolt frame off piece by piece restoration. It's a cosmetic um, project that uh, turned out pretty well and just needs to be brought to the next level. Thanks for watching.